Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Freiburg, Switzerland, Vulcan No Time Ustamir. And now a Jiu-Jitsu opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Jiu-Jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Paul Belju And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck, doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Huge knee lands from the Oh, big punch land. Whips on the elbow. Nice leg kick. Lands a big right hand early. Nice defense there, huge block. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, single collar tie here. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority.
Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. So just over 20 total strikes have already connected for Volkanovski. Big punch land over the top. I was gonna follow this. Massive head kick. Oh, big left hook there. Just out of range with that right hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, you look like it did stun him a little bit. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. He's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. You get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Single collar tie now. Knee to the body, it is blocked. Good punch land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 20 seconds to go in round one. Big power shot there. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Five minutes in the books. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, round two. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right here. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lands with the right hand. Is in a single collar tie here. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Uzdemir's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Yeah. 
And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And a knee. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt oh, bad. Look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. That's how you finish a fight. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, straight right. Flips the punch. All right, single oh, big top. knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! <laughs> yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by... No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful.